You maybe recognise us, uh, we're the, the couples who back in 2005 had their first same sex uh, civil partnership here in Northern Ireland. My name is Gronya Tuss. I'm Shannon Sickles. I'm Christopher Flanagan Cain. I'm Henry Flanagan Cain. So back in 2005, we were delighted uh, that we were the first same-sex uh, relationship to have civil partnership here in Northern Ireland. Yeah. A lot has changed in our lives uh, over the last number of years and back then I don't think any of us thought we were going to be parents and uh, now we're parents and uh, I would say that for us it's all the more important nowadays uh, that we are recognised as same-sex marriage and equal marriage because of our children. Uh, that is something that's really important to me and dear to my heart. Well, for us personally, I think uh, 13 years ago we took the first steps of uh, going into a civil partnership. Uh, we thought by now we would have moved on a lot. Since then, we also have had started our own family and stuff too. We went down the route of fostering at one time and it just wasn't for us. And adoption was out of the question here, so luckily uh, with a friend and we started our own family through that. Uh, we Nothing has moved. My, my big thing is here is with the Mental Health Care Act. Uh, I believe that we're being treated as second class citizens and what kind of message is that given to our young people growing up in the gay community nowadays? They think that they're not the same as their brother and sister, their heterosexual brothers and sister. No, Hi guys, just want to say a big thank you for everybody who's supported us so far. We're five days in uh, of our 30 day campaign and we are over the halfway mark. Yay! This has been absolutely brilliant so hopefully that keeps on going. and. 25 more days to get to our target, so please help when you can. 2005, Northern Ireland made history in, in a very interesting way because it was the last place in 1983 to decriminalize homosexuality. But then in 2005, it became the first place to have public civil partnerships, which is a bit of a strange place to be yeah. in here, but still we find in 2018, it remains to be the last place in the, all of the UK and Ireland for same-sex marriage to take place. And how does that make you feel? It's exhausting, it's enraging. Um, as parents, as, as ind individuals that have young families, it's very important to us that our children are going into a society where they know that the love we work so hard to create in our homes is given the same respect and treatment as it is for any other family. When we were in our last court, uh, our last court case, uh, the judge had actually said that he could see how we were being discriminated against. However, he wasn't in the position to change that. It was up to it was up to our government uh, at that time. Have. We haven't had a government in well over 18 months, close to two years now. Yeah. Uh, so there's no chance of that changing at the minute. You know, for us, it has been tough because when we started out in this journey back in 2013, I know that we said we were in it for the long haul, but. I didn't realise then that we were going to be it's parents. It's going to be so long. <laughs> and, it would take, and it would take so long. And I have to say, this time I'm really mustering up the courage to get out there because every time you're out there you're exposing yourself and you do feel very, very vulnerable and you're putting yourself in your line. And when we didn't have a child uh, back then, I don't think I realised that you needed as much courage, but now I feel that doing it, putting ourselves in the line, it's really taken a lot of courage the older we're getting. But I can say something that really helps in those moments where you're feeling quite tired and downtrodden is the amount of support that we yeah. are getting back um, from mm -hmm. the various fundraising campaigns that we're doing. Um, people that we have no idea who they are, people that are single, are in heterosexual relationships, that are humanists, that are anything, say, you know what, this this is not fair and I support what you're doing and thank you and, and that's really it's wonderful. It's very clear that Northern Ireland wants change, like mm -hmm. the support we're getting is unreal from people and it's very very clear that the word on the street is that this people want this brought in, however there's just this hold up, this red tape and we just want to cut that tape and get rid of it. But no matter what, you're in it, you're going to fight to the yeah, end. Yeah we're here to the end, yeah we are indeed. Yeah. Yeah.